Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every trinket, 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 and trinket in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me is, oh, Captain, my Captain, Will Hughes. Hi, Gary. I'm your Captain now. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hi. Uh, can I be the co-pilot? Uh, no, you can be the bilge rat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Rat. <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot of notes lately about the mouth sounds on the show. Yeah. Uh, you're human again. <gasps> oh, that was so good. Right? It'd be kind of kick-ass to be a rat. Bilge. Just for a little bit. Yeah. You know? Just for that long. Yeah, just like you that know? pure freedom from... Like, Gary, you would never have to record a podcast again. Living the dream. It's Trinket Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Trinket. Days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Trinket. Days. Thursday, Friday. Trinket. Days. Emma has two rats. Weird. And they're delights. Okay. They're amazing. Like, they're incredibly cute and affectionate and awesome. I had a really depressing thought today on this topic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what if what if your girlfriend's pets died? <laughs> uh, essentially, yes. Essentially, yes. Uh, oh, uh, cool. About how the proof that there's no God is the inverse relationship between how good a pet is and how long it lives. Okay. So, like, rats, great pets, just drop dead all the time. Yeah. Uh, dogs. Turtles, horrible pets, live for 140 years. Yeah, or parrots, dude. You ever, yeah. you ever live with a parrot? I've not lived with one, but I am friends with one Bob Mackey who has an African gray yeah, parrot you, nev- you never with. forget that there's a parrot in the house. Uh, yeah, I I find bird people a little strange. I like inviting that into your life. I think is really weird. They're just very loud, and they really want attention, and their claws are so yeah. fucking sharp. It's like it's like having a baby and wishing it never grew out of the crying stage. Like, what if I had a baby that teethed for its, until it's like eighteen? I could get make it get a job. Okay, but also it's holding two knives and has another knife in its mouth. Yeah, yeah. And and will speak in your voice in a surreal way. Oh yeah, so I guess l- less than a baby, we're describing a demon, some kind of demon. Yeah, yeah. that's my favorite Bird Metallica demon. album. Some kind of demon. Yeah, some kind of demon. Some kind of wonderful demon. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so uh, a dog, pretty good pet. I mean, dog's a great pet. Lives for like twelve, thirteen years. Uh twenty if you're really lucky. Whoa. I don't know where you're getting your dogs from. Oh, I, I know a guy. Okay. Um, yeah. um, you know, cat's a good pet. Yeah. Perfect. Teen perfectly years. adequate pet. No. Yeah. Um, you love cats. I love cats, but I'm a dog person. Yeah. You, you're at some point you're gonna become a cat person just through Sammy exposure. No, I love the cats very, very much, but, uh, I would, if I was living a life where I could have a dog, I'd rather have a dog. You gotta meet, you gotta meet the wrong, the wrong kind of dogs. Like I have. Well, sure. Like I, I love dogs too. And I, I, I slowly became, you know, liking both. But, like, I have met some, like, not great dogs, man. Oh, so have I. Like, uh, but that's the human's fault. I don't know, man. I, I knew, I've known Ben Crickenberger's dog since he got him. And, like, I don't think it's Ben's fault. But that dog is not great. Okay. He's cute. What about but... the dog on Picard? I don't know that dog. And he's a... I, re- I read an insufferable review and decided to stay away from it. Oh, it's, it's... I actually just wasn't going to get CBS All Access. It, it literally is the thing. Like, it's the only reason I got it. I pay, I'm paying $10 a month to watch Picard every week. I'm curious about it. I thought I thought it looked cool. I love that character. I hated that review. Uh-huh. Like, I would like to watch it. I just don't want to spend, you know, that much money. I'll wait for it to be over and then do it for, like, binge it. The thing that is amazing yeah. to me about TV right now is that mm-hmm. we all did the binge thing for a while, and then the mm-hmm. TV people were like, oh, wait a second, this is the worst way possible to release our television shows. For us to make money. Yeah, for like... <laughs> yeah. If Gary gets to do a trial of Netflix to watch Orange is the New Black, we're not getting anything from him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, oh, wait. Uh, and also just in terms of, like, attention. Like... Yeah. If they had dropped all eight episodes of The Mandalorian at once, no one really would have given a fuck. Nope. Yeah, stay out of the conversation. You know, so it's so weird that for like five years, we convinced ourselves the other way was better. Yeah. I, I mean, and still for me, there are some things I would, I would rather have it that way. I think it's just weird that like business people yeah. were convinced. That's the weird thing. Like, I like both. I like having something to look forward to once a week. I also like being able to just like, hey, I feel like watching another one. I get to. I like bones. 
the uh the t v show or the comic uh the matter mm they're crunchy, yeah, they are crunchy. You ever eaten a bone? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not great. I've, I've, or at least I've eaten, I've, I've probably eaten cartilage. I don't know how much bone I've ever eaten. I've definitely like accidentally swallowed some fish bones. Oh, well, sure. Fish bones. Those, those yeah. barely count as bones. They're still bones. Mm, I think they're, they I think they're more like kind of like small rocks. Hmm. This feels like. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's wrong? A weird. What's wrong? <laughs> it's a weird. It's a weird stance What's to wrong? take. And I feel like it's. Come on. Uh, the Argue the topic, not the, not the, come on. <laughs> well, are they small rocks? No. Okay. See? <laughs> By no means. We found, uh, we found the battlefield upon which our intellectual battle will be waged. Yep. The, uh, th- this will be the thing that ultimately breaks up the podcast <laughs> in 84 episodes. Fish bones are small rocks. Debate me. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want to. It's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, Gary, but think about it. What's a rock? Okay. I don't know. Gary, what's a and rock? no one does. Oh, okay. So um, then can you definitively prove that a fishbone isn't a small one? Yeah. How? Because it's a bone. Okay, but what that's just a word, you know? What if let's think about it. what does bone stand for? Big B. Only no eat. Mm-hmm. Big only no eat. Yeah, which translates in Latin to rock. <laughs> can I uh can I ask a follow up question? Of course. Gary Gary, I'm here what, to educate what? you. So what whatever are, questions what, uh, you what have, kind of is, I'm happy to is, answer, Gary, whatever questions you seem to have about the very simple assertion that fish bones are just small rocks. What, uh, in that, in that acrostic, what work is only doing? Oh, uh, well, I don't want you thinking that it's big and then other stuff. It's big only. <laughs> okay. But these were small. They're, they're small in terms of rocks, but they're big in terms of fish bones. Gary, if you have okay. follow-up questions, I'm happy to address them. Your education is important to me. I do. What if small fish bones? Are those no longer rocks? No, those are pebbles. Okay. Well, you should have said that earlier. Now I'm on board. Okay. I'm so glad, so. Gary, that you could come around to the right way of thinking. Yeah, me too. I uh, there, There's a joy in sublimating yourself. Yeah, yeah. And just giving in to the bit. Just accepting the low status. Like, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a real joy to it. You know? Sure, I'll rent. The love guru. Um, <laughs> we're talking about the safety cap today. Yeah, we got pills. They're multiplying. <laughs> yep, we do have pills. They're multiplying. Uh, and, uh, you know, if pills were good, this would be good. Exactly, Gary. <laughs> you know, and, but the fact the pills kind of suck makes this kind of suck. Yeah. Gary, should we, to, like, give context on this uh, item, should we go do a quick rundown of all pills? Um, I, w- I was going to, I mean, I think if we have to if we want to do our due diligence. I can't. So, I can't bring those guys no, back. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, Bluff. <laughs> they got. They got on the bus without telling anybody. <laughs> <laughs> like FBI, FBI.gov slash take me on a bus, Daddy. They're going to no, the Vatican. The They're voice. going to meet the Pope. Oh, that's gonna be good for them because they love uh, Monsignor. They do. He, and he's the you most know, senior Monsignor. He, he is the Monsignorist. Yeah, he's a real Monsignor um, citizen. So this is uh, Gary, a Monsignor. Citizen. Very good. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. That's the Pope for you. For me as well. He's new. He belongs to all of us. Do you think we all have a share in the Pope? Uh, I think probably only Catholics do. Yeah. But that's probably one of the big reasons to become a Catholic is to get that sweet, sweet, you know, dividend. Yeah, just like a like just a, a pure leader you can just believe in. Well, and a, a share of him. Yeah. Like if this Pope was like one ten thousandth mine be pretty cool plus you get some of that apostolic succession you know all the yeah. way back to peter oh man that's a classic he is classic he is peter? he's pope classic yeah pope classic remember when they introduced new pope uh i mean it's coming out today i think yeah the john malkovich have, tv show the new pope have they learned nothing from new coke i you know uh the thing about new coke that new pope doesn't have to worry about is that new coke was invented by forrest gump yeah. In uh, well, and, Gump and Company, the Gump, the Forrest Gump sequel book. And also, New Coke was specifically Coke trying to make Coke that tasted like Pepsi. If you're making New Pope, what are you trying to make him taste like? Uh, like a Buddha? Pontiff? What's the equivalent? Pontiff? Yeah. Pope. Buddha. Hey, Gary. Rabbi? Gary? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Popesy. Oh, hey, Popesy. <laughs> Diet Popesy? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I like Diet Popsy. I like I like all those Popsy Max. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Check out Dirty the Popsy. check out the miter on Popsy Max. Yeah, <laughs> hello. Um, the safety cap is a safety cap. Yeah, like as in like up, the cap that you can put on, like the safety cap on a pill. Aspirin. Bottle. Yep. It says don't swallow it when you pick it up, which according to trivia is a reference to the song "Don't Swallow the Cat" by the National. Maybe doubtful. Um, and in, improves your chances of getting pills after clearing a room. Gary, you think it's and a reference to reference to the uh, the National uh, cover of the Bob's Burgers song, where they're the gravy boat song? Probably not. That song doesn't mention uh, safety caps. But they much. do get swallowed in it. In the video, they, they are swallowed by the Belcher family. Maybe it is a reference to the Bush song, Swallowed. Oh. Bush baked beans. Bush baked beans. Roll Ooh, that. Bring it back to the dog. Beautiful. Bean. Bring it back Footage. to the dog in hell. Um, yeah. Real dog's name was Sam. Some dogs go to hell. They have to, right? Otherwise, dogs have no, like, it's the, it's the same way, like, a- you can't trust atheists because they got no eternal damnation holding, like, being held over their heads. There'd be no reason for them to be good boys. If not for fear. Yeah. And then also heaven would just be crawling with dogs. Too many, like proportionally too many dogs. Yeah. It'd be like, so back when I was a kid, every once in a while there would be like this weird caterpillar season. Yeah. Uh, We had something similar with ladybugs. Yeah. You know know what I'm talking about? And like the ground would be slick with caterpillar corpses from cars just running over them. Yeah. That would happen with dogs in heaven if all dogs went to heaven. And if there were cars in heaven, which I do not concede. Cars in heaven. Ding, 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 ding. Gary, we can't just rag on Eric Clapton for his poor window maintenance <laughs> again. <laughs> well, cars have windows. Maybe he wrote a song about getting into a car crash. Though. What, if he, what if he wrecked his car and wrote a very similar song? <laughs> Wait, is that what happened to Rick Ocasek? <laughs> yep, exactly. He wrecked his cars. The uh, and uh, you, you know, cars are cars by Paul Simon. I've talked about that with you. I don't before. believe. I don't believe so. Is it it's is a very it from funny the Paul Shrek Simon. soundtrack? It sounds like it should be. It's a very funny Paul Simon song where the, the thesis is cars are cars all over the world. Similarly made, similarly sold. Paul Simon, not not the world's best lyricist. Uh, I think in some I think in some ways he is one of our be- all time's best songwriters. But like, man, that's that's his shit. I, I also I learned uh, I was over at my friend's house and he was listening to uh, we were listening to Leonard Cohen. Uh-huh. And he has a song called Jazz Police. Uh, that is pretty amazing as well. So are the Jazz Police persecuting jazz players or are they holding up a standard of jazz let me find out let's find out uh the know, Paul, ja- Paul jazz S- police i hear you calling uh-huh. jazz police i feel so blue jazz police i think i'm fallen jazz i'm fallen for you wild as any freedom loving racist i applaud the actions of the chief tell me now oh beautiful and spacious am i in trouble with the jazz police gary i gotta say i now know less about the jazz police than i did going in <laughs> me too i feel uh less less knowledgeable now it's not like I, when i read that? the lyrics of you can call me al and now i know all about uh al. dogs in the marketplace yeah oh yeah dogs in the marketplace yeah mr beer belly get these mutts mr. away beer from belly, me. beer belly yeah roly poly little fat face fat face i don't rolls. feel this i don't find this stuff amusing anymore I didn't, nobody finds this amusing anymore. Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV. It's true. If you find this amusing anymore. Uh, we're almost uh, out of reviews, Gary. Uh, I've been reading them at such a voracious pace. Uh, ooh, voracious pace. Voracious pace. Uh, but here's one from uh, Moose Rehab. It's five stars. Mm-hmm. Hey. Thank you, Moose. Moose Rehab. Thank you. I love you. I love you so fucking much. I never realized that just saying that they had to be five stars makes it happen. Yeah. should have done this for all of my shows. Yeah, man. You know, just, uh, we didn't specify. Gary, this is what you happens know? when you hit your wagon to a genius. That's, uh, well, that's exactly what happens. Uh, a great supplement to any Bible study course. Uh, Gary Butterfield and Brayton Cameron play two entrepreneurs whose unrivaled <laughs> enthusiasm and constant yes ending lead to innovation so incredible that the average Binding of Isaac player can barely even comprehend what they're listening to. This is a show that has the best fans. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the guppy people get me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, your me. truest self here, Gary. Yep. This is this is. Uh, I'm I'm like this. I don't know if it's truest. I there's there's. I'm never I'm never like this any other time. Okay. Uh, it's but it's uh, people get it and I like it. Yeah, I mean, deepest on this show, Gary. Like you know, you're you're hanging out with me. You're subsuming yourself to the idea of fish bones or small rocks. Oh, uh, uh, dude. Uh, did you know? Yeah, Gary. Could you tell me a fact about fish bones? Well, one of the things about them is that the big ones are small rocks. 
And the small ones are small uh, pebbles. It's true. What does bone stand for again? Huh? It stands for big, only not eat. That's right. No. So. Ah, oh, Gary, we've done it once again. We've completed another week of everything to Guppy. Just 50 more and we'll be released to go back to heaven. <laughs> yep. We, will we can go back. We'll have completed our John Constantine side quest <laughs> that we have been on. Um. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's going to be cool to get back to heaven. All those dog guts everywhere. Yeah, just like con- while well, I'm driving around in my uh, Honda heaven. Accord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your peace Accord. Um, yep, that's what we have in heaven <laughs> instead of Honda yeah, Accords. Instead of Honda Accords, peace Accords. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And instead of Impreza's, we have Impressives. Yeah, instead don't of, fuck with that kind of like fake word. Though. Yeah, instead of a Dodge Ram, it's a Dodge uh, Nice Nice Goat. Yeah. yeah. Um, God, I can't wait to drive around heaven. It's going to be like... Do you think it's like Rainbow Road? I mean, Gary, I know it's exactly like Rainbow Road. Complete oh. with the lack of uh, walls on the side. <laughs> yeah, and if you fall, you have to go and do 700 episodes of a podcast before you can come back. <laughs> we really gained that system by doing 10-minute episodes. Although we yeah. aren't doing 10-minute episodes this week. No, no, no. But the, like, the, here's the thing about God. Gullible. Super gullible. Really trusting. And you don't see that when you're in heaven. But when you get down to Earth, like you can see it really for what it's like. When you're up there, you're just like, man... Somebody's got to clean up all this dog shit. But when you're down <laughs> on Earth, you think... Yeah, he's not doing great know, at like cleaning up all the dog corpses. There's so much dog corpses, dog shit, dog piss. But I can literally... Like, Gary, uh, you know, I committed a bunch of sins today. Yeah. God, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I saying. accept Jesus. Please wash me clean. And he's like, well, you're the boss. Yep. And he just does it, you know? And then you get to drive back on Rainbow Road after you finish the podcast. You know? For like a minute, and then Bowser hits me with another goddamn Koopa shell. I know. I can't believe that Bowser out now. Right? <laughs> it's so weird. Well, he promised God he'd be good. I know. Fucking gullible. You know? God. It's, can it's, God make a Bowser so gullible he can't lift him? <laughs> yeah. The weird thing is Waluigi's not up there. And I've, I've seen some, some people protesting that. Well, Waluigi know? is the wandering Jew. Yeah. Now, wandering. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, is that anti-Semitic? I don't think so. The wandering Jews I don't know. are from mythology. I don't know anymore, Mr. President. So was Obama. Okay, <laughs> Gary, we could have ended the show so long ago. I know. Maybe I'm I trying. faded us out. Maybe I faded okay, us maybe. out. Okay, maybe you can always tell it's a good week when we fade out <laughs> instead of having a closer. <laughs> yeah. It's a good sign. I'm gonna stop recording. That's yeah, how we can tell the show to end. Good night.